Hey, welcome back, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jordan Frazier. We're watching the skies because they look a little bit ominous, a little bit dark out there as well. But there's no need to worry. We're just tracking a few little bits of showers and even a, a rumble of thunder here and there, none of which is turned severe just yet. And as a matter of fact, we should be thankful for this because it's actually keeping temperatures across the region a bit cooler. 79 right now in Hobbs, 84 in Big Spring, 87 in Snyder. Places that aren't getting much rain, we're talking closer to the border, still going to be in those upper 90s for the most part. But at least as of right now, avoiding triple digit temperatures, which I think we can all appreciate. Locally, the most of the activity is just going to be right around uh, just to the north of Winkler County, starting to see a couple of those thunderstorms. Again, they're beginning to fizzle out a bit. Same with the one in Big Spring, too, and even in Snyder, just fizzling out. There is that small severe potential, but if you want to see some real severe weather, head up to New York, where we're seeing a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings and a couple of those tornado warnings popping off from the outer bands of left of barrel still just causing chaos across much of the United States and now even moving into Canada. All right, what can we expect for out the night? Well, just that small severe risk mainly going to be on top of southeastern New Mexico. Some of it trying to bleed its way into West Texas, although I'm not seeing anything significant as of right now. Of course, that could change, but as we head into the overnight hours, a lot of that will just fizzle out entirely, leaving us with just a small amount of cloud cover. You got that easterly wind keeping humidity values on the higher end of the spectrum, but overall temperatures not bad at all. 71 degrees right on par with where we should be for this time of year. Your weather pattern for tomorrow. I suggest keeping those short sleeves, sunglasses, the sun hat, sandals, anything with an S. Yeah, you probably put it on uh, except the scarf probably 95 and plenty of sunshine going into your afternoon right on par with where we should be for this time of year. What about any kind of isolated rain chances? Well, as a matter of fact, tomorrow I got rid of those rain chances because notice the models just showing quick little fast moving clouds. That's it. No more rain chances. What about your Friday? OK, we don't want the weekend to have uh, rained out, especially when it's been relatively nice throughout the week. Well, good news. Friday looks pretty nice. So your car wash forecast for your Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Good all days. Go ahead and throw in the wax on that. But what about going into the weekend and going into next week? Well, Still pretty calm. Some small isolated rain chances, a little bit of that humidity, but overall I'm seeing a lot of those mid 90s and that is a lot better than those triple digits, Sydney. Absolutely, Jordan. Thanks. Coming up